Let me provide you a bit of background first about uh, hemodynamic guided management. The CardioMEMS device is a wireless, batterless, batterless sensor that's implanted via right heart catheterization in the pulmonary artery to transmit pulmonary artery pressures. We know that elevated or increasing pulmonary artery pressures predict heart failure hospitalizations even before symptoms occur. A previous trial used the CardioMEMS device to compare hemodynamic guided management of pulmonary artery pressures versus usual care in heart failure patients and demonstrated a 28% reduction in heart failure hospitalizations. The current Guide HF study uh, was designed to show the same benefits in an extended population of heart failure patients, including those with New York Heart Association class two to four heart failure and those with even earlier heart failure who have not had a previous hospitalization, but had only elevated natriuretic peptides. Part of the Guide HF trial occurred during the COVID-19 pandemic and a pre-specified analysis plan accounted for that occurrence and demonstrated an interaction with COVID-19. The primary endpoint for Guide HF of all heart failure events and all cause mortality showed a 12% reduction, but that was not statistically significant in the overall study. However, in the pre-COVID analysis, there was a 19% reduction in the primary endpoint, which was statistically significant. Heart failure hospitalizations were reduced in the overall study 17% that just missed statistical significance. However, in the, over, in the pre-COVID analysis, there was a highly statistically significant 28% reduction in heart failure hospitalizations, exactly the same as occurred in the previous CHAMPION trial. Thus, we think overall, Guide HF shows us that we can extend the benefits of hemodynamic guided management with the CardioMEMS device to an earlier group of patients, New York Heart Association Class 2, and class two and class three patients who only have had elevated nat natriuretic peptides, but never had a previous heart failure hospitalization.